Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. In this video I'm going to talk about angles, uh, what makes angles, the definition of angles, and also uh, the different ways of naming angles, one using letters and, and the other one using numbers. And so let's just jump into the definition of an angle. Uh, the definition I use in my class is the intersection of two rays that have a common endpoint called the vertex. Now you really don't need this part here, but I kind of use this uh, in my class. So we're going to focus on, on just the words from V all the way to endpoint. It's the intersection of two rays that have a common endpoint. So I happen to have two rays here. I've got ray BA and I've got ray uh, BC right here. Uh, they have, each of them have an endpoint. Uh, this is endpoint B. Rays uh, start with an endpoint and then they travel in, in one direction. This is traveling from B to A. Uh, this is another uh, ray and has an endpoint B. Uh, rays start at the endpoint and it's traveling through C. So both of these locations here are the endpoints. And if you need another, uh, a little bit more information on understanding what a ray is, uh, I've got um, a video on my website, dowshouse.com. If you look under my first six weeks worth of videos, uh, you can look under uh, the videos uh, column and you'll see rays and it'll give you more information. Uh, but for this video here, uh, I'm just going to quickly go through this. And so if I take this ray, this is ray BA, and I have this ray here, BC, it says the intersection of two rays that have a common endpoint. Well, if I take this endpoint right here and I overlap it on this endpoint, these two rays now have a common endpoint. And I combined those two rays over here. And so this guy right here where the this ray BA and this ray BC are intersecting, this is called the vertex. And it's really important you know what a vertex is because uh, we use it to name angles. Uh, and it's also important in other ways. Uh, but we talk about angles throughout the year in geometry uh, and probably and maybe in some of your algebra classes. And so it's worthwhile to understand uh, what an angle is and what the vertex is. Now let's jump into uh, how to name angles. There's two ways you can name angles. One is to use letters. Uh, in this case, uh, we've got the letters A, B, and C representing the points A, point B, and point C. You can also use numbers to name angles. The numbers is the easy way. Uh, but I know on a lot of problems that I give my students and probably like uh, your teacher is going to give you, uh, you're going to have uh, letters naming angles as well. And it's really important you understand this because it can be a little confusing. This is the hardest part about naming angles is to name them using letters. Uh, now this is the same angle from the previous slide. Uh, it's just shrunk down a little bit. And so we remember uh, the vertex here. The vertex is the common endpoint between these two rays you can use the vertex to name an angle. And so we can call this angle here angle B, or we can use a symbol for angle and call this angle B as well. So the word angle, you can use the symbol instead. This looks like an angle. This symbol here means the word angle. And so you'll generally see uh, angles named using the symbol more than you will seeing the word. Um, but there's another way of naming angles as well. Um, sometimes uh, naming an angle using the vertex isn't quite possible, and I'll show you why on the next slide. Uh, but for right now, uh, you can use the three points that helps create the angle to name the angle. Uh, but you got to keep in mind here, the vertex always has to be in the middle. If we look at the second way of naming this angle, notice the vertex is in the middle here. And there's a reason why we do that. You always want to trace uh, your fingers uh, that's what I tell my students from the points that help create the angle. If I start at this point right here and I trace my finger from A to B and then from B to C, that gets you the three points here that helps create the angle. And so when you're naming an angle, if you were to trace your finger over the three points that creates that angle, it'll actually spell out the angle for you. And that's how we get angle ABC, or again, this symbol, uh, angle ABC. Uh, but we don't have to go alphabetical. Uh, in the alphabetical direction. We could have gone from C to B to A. Again, I still trace out and I make the angle, and so I can call this angle CBA or angle, the symbol, angle CBA. And so if we have three points that help create an angle, we have three different ways we can name that angle. One is just using the vertex, or uh, we need to use, um, we can trace our fingers over the three points to help create the angle and that will help us name it the other two ways. Uh, another way of naming angles is to use numbers. This is the way uh, that I think is the easiest. Uh, if I look here, this number one is between this ray and this ray right here. They have a common endpoint. This is, this is one ray, this is another ray. And since this ray is helping create this angle one to this ray right here, 
we can just use the number between those two rays. So I can use the word angle one or the symbol for angle one, and that's an alternative way of naming angles. Uh, but I mentioned earlier uh, that we can't always just use the vertex to name uh, angles. So I'm going to jump into uh, a little bit more complex type of angle problem and naming the angles. Now if I look here, I have four different angles. I've got this angle on the top right here. I've got this angle on the right right here. I've got the angle on the bottom right down here. And I've got the angle on the left right here. If I were to look at just this angle right here, so this is uh, the ray LJ and the ray LK help create this angle. If I just said, hey, I'm going to call this guy angle L, then that's a little confusing. Because if another person were to look at this problem, they might think the angle that you're talking about is this one on the top. Or if you took another person, they might think you're talking about the angle on the left. And then another person might think it's the angle on the bottom. So if you ever have multiple, uh, more than just two rays intersecting the same uh, endpoint, uh, then it can be a little confusing. Uh, so you always, uh, on this case, would have to, if I wanted to name this angle here from J to L to K, I need to use the three letters or the three points that help create that angle. And so this angle here could be called angle J, J to L, J, L to K, or I could have also called this angle, uh, angle from K to L to J. So I could also call this angle uh, K to L uh, to J. But I could not, I could not call this angle L because, again, it's a little too confusing. And so let's look at one more here. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's look at, um, let's do the angle on the bottom here, just because I've got a lot of space down here. Let's focus on this angle right in here. What are ways we can name this? There's two ways we can name this. I'm going to use, I'm going to start from this K and go to L and go to N to help create this angle. So I could call this angle K from K to L, K to L to N, and I could call this angle, angle K, L, N. And then what's the alternative way? I can just swap these around basically. If I go from N to L to K, I get the same angle. And so I could have just swapped these two letters here. Keep in mind, the vertex where it bends, uh, the vertex is basically where the, where the angle bends, is going to have to be the middle letter. And then another thing we have here is, is a way to, to name it using numbers here. Notice how the numbers are going to make it a little bit easier in this case. Uh, I wanted to show you a more complex one than I did earlier. Um, right now, if I'm looking at this angle, at this 2 here, this guy right here is angle 2. This angle right here, this is this angle right in here is angle 3. This would be angle 4 down here between these two rays, and then this guy right here would also be angle 1. And so anyways, hopefully this helps you understand uh, what an angle is and what makes up angles and then how to name angles in different ways. Anyways, hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.